I don't know how well this is going to go over, but I was intrigued by this particular video. It just came across my page one day and it's, it's called the ultimate Southern competition. It's some Spanish that what the heck? <laughs> okay. I know why that happened. I know why that happened. I've got Spanish on the brain. I've been really jumping into Spanish heavily. So it's just like bouncing around in my head. <laughs> and so it just popped right out. Okay. What I was getting ready to say is that this channel is geared towards Southern stuff. And I'm from the South, if you can't tell by my accent. So I, I wanted to see what the heck this was about. This is the only video of theirs that I've put in my to watch list. I didn't even check out the rest of their stuff. I just saw the video, didn't even go to their channel, just put it in my to watch list. And I was like, I need to check this out. So it's called Southern Games 2018. I don't know, sponsored by Body by Biscuits. That has to be some sort of like joke or something. So anyway, I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm in for, but let's just go ahead and see. Welcome back to the continuing coverage yes. of the 32nd annual Southern Games, sponsored by Body by Biscuits, <laughs> for when you want to get into shape, but you don't care which one. Now, before we take y'all back to the lawnmower races, let's recap some of the action from earlier today. This morning, the duo from Tennessee took home gold for their performance in synchronized mosquito swatting. <laughs> Just look at those ankle swats. The competitors tend to overlook the ankles, but you know who doesn't? The mosquitoes. Oh, right, goodness, you are, that's Chip. Right. It's great to see years of practice pay off for these ladies. Okay. And there was a scary moment just hours ago in the semifinal round of marathon thank you note riding. The athlete from Georgia was just two thank you notes <laughs> away from a record setting performance before she sprained her riding hand. Oh my Luckily, gosh. Okay. Oh Lord. Okay. So the, the thank you note thing, I have never been big on that. Maybe that's just because I wasn't born in the South. I don't know. I don't know. I'm teasing. I am. I, I was I was raised in the South. This is my culture completely. But I guess it is a thing here in the South. I I never even considered the possibility that this was something kind of exclusive to the South. Surely not. I don't think. Surely not. <laughs> Just I never even thought of that. Probably because I'm not into it. I don't really, I just never really have been too much. I mean, I have done it, but it's not something that I, it's like a habit. Two thank you notes away from a record setting performance before she sprained her riding hand. Luckily, our fantastic Body by Biscuit trainers were on standby and with their help, Georgia oh will be back God. out there in no time. <laughs> oh look, she's actually writing a thank you note to the trainers as they work on her. She's got the heart of a championship. <laughs> and gravy in her veins, literally. She has gravy in her veins. Gravy in her veins, oh Lord. You gotta be freaking kidding me right now. Alabama had another gold medal performance in freestyle I'm sure quarterbacking. quarterbacking. Their 11th. Okay, this cannot be something that is exclusive to the South. <laughs> Surely not again. Surely. Okay. <laughs> That's Consecutive funny. victory in the event. It's truly impressive how they continue to find so much to gripe about despite all their success in the field. Oh, hang on. Here comes my favorite part. When I was playing ball, I would throw it and go catch it myself. Wow, okay. nailed it. Did you hear that? He's referencing his junior high football career, right? He is, Jim. The glory days. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not every team had a winning performance today. That's right. Random testing has resulted in the disqualification of almost all of Maryland's team. <laughs> Officials have confirmed that Maryland's tea tested negative for sweetness. They tried adding sugar. Okay, speaking of sweet tea, when my brother moved out to California, I, th I believe this is... I, I think it was when he, because he's been in Texas before too, when he was in the military. But I think it was when he moved to California and he asked for tea. I don't remember if he said he asked for tea first or if he, maybe it was that he asked for sweet tea. Timothy, clarify this if I'm misremembering. That you ask for sweet tea, and I don't remember if it was at a Chick-fil-A or some other restaurant. And basically they looked at him like, he was nuts. They'd never heard of such a thing. So I guess maybe sweet tea is just a Southern thing. But it's not anything that I thought about too much because I'm not a big tea drinker. So to the tea after they were caught, but it was just too little too late. Now, before we get back to the action in the field, let's Jeez, take a glimpse at the newest Southern Games event, figure skating. <laughs> 
Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. well, let's not forget the reason we're all here, Chip. Those precious Southern Games medals. Exactly, Jim. After two days of action, let's take a look at the updated medal count. As you can see, Georgia is currently holding on to the lead in overall medals, with South Carolina and Louisiana not far behind. We should also note that Mississippi has not yet arrived at this year's games. We believe they stopped by a casino thing, on like their way here. Mopping the floor with everybody else, practically. So true, y'all. That's funny. That's cute. Um, I feel like I need to check out Southern comedy, culture, food, and more, y'all. Yeah, y'all, that is the thing we say here. I love that word. It should be an official word. I and mean, it makes perfect sense, just like ain't makes perfect sense, even though it's really not. Even though it's really not grammatically correct. It's such a good word. I mean, <laughs> anyway, um, this was cute. I feel like I would like to check out more of their more of their things, but I'm not sure. I mean, I don't have, I don't have a whole lot of, um, I don't have a whole lot of commentary to add to it other than what I already said, but th I just figured this would be something that would be kind of cute, little change of pace sort of thing. I, I, I stumble across stuff like this every once in a while and it, it intrigues me. So I, I decide I'm going to check it out and I do. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it's, it's not exactly what I thought, but um, this was pretty funny. Like I said, my first exposure, this is probably, this video is probably, yeah, tw 2018. So I'm assuming it's, that's when it actually came out. Let me look at the date. Yeah, 2018. So it's, it's a bit old. Uh, I mean, not, it's not that old, but still, it's not something new. I don't know why YouTube decided all of a sudden to just suggest this one to me. Why didn't they pull up one of their latest ones? Unless they haven't posted in a while. YouTube is strange. You can never really completely figure out their little algorithm thing. Anyway, okay, I don't have anything else. There are a couple few more things that I would like to check out. So I'm going to go ahead and run off and do that now. Later, guys. <laughs>